this female is desperate to eat. She picks up the scent of the meal, but it's the scent of an animal all but the strongest tyrannosaurs prefer not to mess with. That's the, the most dangerous challenge that any big carnivore ever faced, was the swinging head of Triceratops. It's like a gigantic white rhinoceros on steroids. 26 feet long and 10 feet tall, a full-grown Triceratops can reach six tons in weight. If there's an animal whose scent would frighten a T-Rex, it's Triceratops. T-Rex is well aware of the risks. Its cerebrum has information stored from previous contacts. It knows the danger ahead. Turning a Triceratops into lunch means overpowering a beast with three-foot-long horns sheathed in rock-hard keratin and a body protected by a bony shield. But possibly, the survival of her genes for another generation might be just one fight away. One could imagine that the conflict between Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops may have been one of the greatest combats that nature has ever had. And this well-protected herbivore is everywhere. In fact, in the late Cretaceous, Triceratops outnumbered Tyrannosaurs 10 to 1. Their success is down to one reason. A single thrust of the brow horn could penetrate right into the cardiac chamber or the lungs. If you're gonna put a meter-long horn into a chest cavity of a T-Rex, the chance of you doing some damage are pretty great. Tyrannosaurus rex is stabbed in the eye. Triceratops, an herbivore, gets the best of the king of Cretaceous. The key element for any predator is to go in make the kill, get what they need, and do it without injuring themselves. For a carnivorous predator, losing an eye could be fatal. 